make school Learning to be second best while playing by the rules Maxim Man is missing, now rule the school Flying, smashing back, stopping, looking super cool I'm a sidekick, sidekick, that's the life for me As I super zero, the full size hero dream A sidekick, sidekick, what an awesome gig Just like superheroes Hey, Trevor. Uh, you know you're at the school science fair, right? Maybe. Cool! What is it? I don't really know. I found it on the shelf at the mansion. And lame. My project is going to take first place and get me into the national. That is like the best comb ever. Trevor, did you really forget about the fair that I reminded you about last night and this morning and on the phone five minutes ago? If you fail... Again? then you won't be able to come on our ingesting slime creatures for later analysis field trip. What? I love eating slime. One project coming up. <laughs> Plants. Plants are science-y. Huh? Trouble Maya. Let's see what passes for science in your tiny brain. It's the important and growing field of science, uh, plant. Well, I do love the gardening. <laughs> yes! Best science project ever! <gasps> Why would you bring a pomplamoose poisoning plant to school? Well, I could ask, why didn't you bring a pomplamoose poisoning plant to school, huh? If he doesn't wake up and grade my project, I won't make the finals. Okay, but why do I care? It was your project that poisoned pomplamoose. And? And you're gonna fix this now! He looks better. Maybe he didn't breathe in too much plant stuff. <gasps> what? At him. What have you done now? There was an unfortunate Trevor poisoning Pomplamoose with his plant incident. We need to know how to cure him. Hmm. There may be something in an old Maxim Man file. Hi there, Green Thumbs. Welcome to Maxim Manscape Lawn Care. Super gardening for superheroes. Chapter 17, Plants with Attitude. Most evil supervillains are also evil super gardeners, so it's good to learn about their evil plants. A plant's just like a human, but with leaves, and not human at all. It just wants to eat. Just don't let it eat you. <gasps> this is the rare and deadly evil make-a-use plant, found only in the dunes of the really, really, really hot sands desert. Really. Careful now, one spore will make even the most righteous of us evil. Except me, of course. But worry not, if you are infected, the cure is just a quick trek through an extremely dangerous desert to find... The Magi Fungi! You may want to wear super gloves. Okay, let's split up. Two of us go on the awesome adventure to get the cure, and two of us stay here and take care of the sickly and gross pompons. <laughs> So, who's going to stay here? <laughs> I said turn at the sand, do not into it. Turn at, crash into, same thing. Hmm. Ugh, just give me the map. No way, I'm the best map reader reading guy there is. You're not the best anything. You're the worst everything. Now try reading it. <laughs> okay. We go that way. 
I know you have doomsday devices here. Give some to me. Stop flying and get back in your pot. You know, you could try to make this a little easier. Eric, are you okay? Do you need a thousand hugs? Uh, I'm all right. I was just trying to replant him. You don't plant me, I plant you! Oh. Um, Eric, we're trying to make him less planty, not more. Right, makes sense. So I should get rid of the fertilizer? Water! Need water! You should have thought of that before getting into a water balloon fight with a cactus! Well, you should have seen the way he was looking at me! I saw that! <gasps> Maybe there's water in this plant! Trevor, stop! That's the antidote we were looking for! The Magi Fungi! So thirsty! <laughs> Got it! Let's get it back to the mansion so we can cure Pomplamoos and he can finally grade my science project. Uh, that may not be so easy. No problem. I aced my escaping from quicksand quiz. Oh, I didn't study for this. You put our getting more and more evil by the second plant mutant teacher outside alone with no restraints? And you thought that was a good idea? Sure. Plants love sunlight. It helps them grow. Oh, right. Are you eating part of him? It tastes all pomplamoosey. And a bit citrusy. Ah, my science project will never get to the nationals now. Ooh, 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 ooh. We should totally confess our deepest, darkest, awesomest secrets. Because you see, it'll help pass the time while we're getting digested. Okay, once I saw Kitty waving to me, but I just ignored her. <gasps> Burn! I invited Eric to come over to my house, then didn't answer the door for five hours. I want more white socks with sandals. Sometimes I think about building a giant bomb that would explode the entire universe unless everyone gave me their eternal devotion and all their candy. <laughs> Ooh, shared too much. Hey, the giant lizard hates mushrooms. So, who doesn't? Time to get us out of here! Now, let us never speak of that conversation ever again! What conversation?! Stay! Seriously, I have no idea what you're talking about! You will never get me! <laughs> Letting Pomplamoose out for air wasn't my best idea. Best idea? That might have been the worst idea of all time! I mean, well, I guess he did need some exercise. Uh, where did he go? My sidekick sense is telling me he went that way. I kind of think he went this way. Kitty, you can't tell me you fell for that old decoy trick. I think I'm gonna go with my gut here. But he's right there! <laughs> Gut feeling. You gotta trust me on this one. Gut feeling? How about using your brain? Or your eyes or any other parts of your body not telling you the wrong things for once? I try. But it seems like no matter what I do, I end up messing things up way worse than they were before. Oh, I, I know you've been trying. It's, it's just that you might... Want to try a little more thinking before doing? Hmm. Sounds a little unorthodox, but I'll give it a shot. You just watch. I'm totally gonna make up for everything I've done wrong. Now let's go grab us an evil plant man. What do you say? I say you're cute. What? What? I mean, let's go! <laughs> Whoa! Destroy! 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 He really likes destroying stuff! What's your plan? The days of me messing up are over. This is so gonna work. Ah! 
I guess plant monsters and water don't mix. We're toast. Huh. Eaten by two monsters in one day. What are the odds? Yeah! Hurry, Eric, we need the antidote now! Stand back! No! That didn't work before! Think! Oh, I'm thinking all right. If at first you don't succeed, that's using your beautiful thumb-shaped head! <laughs> hey, <laughs> Professor! Eat this! <laughs> you did it! Yeah, um, can we just forget all the stuff I did before, cause... Done! But no, I, I wanted to apologize. La 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 la, can't hear you! La 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 la, Eric's perfect! La 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 la! Finally, I can get my prize for my amazing project. This year's winner of the National Science Fair competition. Trevor Troublemeyer and his rare plant, Oop on the dog. What? Yes! <laughs> what? Maxim Mansion, home to the world's greatest superhero, Maxim Man. Look, it's Maxim Man's trusty sidekick, the Golly G Kid, giving his super a helping hand. Sidekick lesson number 137, the grand entrance. Making a super first impression is half the battle when facing a rampaging villain. Give to me all your pens. Take them, Arachnithum! Take them! <laughs> I could have used the copper fingers instead of just thumbs. Thumbs up, villain! Grand entrance accomplished! Uh -huh. Sidekicks, they're the pot scrubbers of justice! So you see, class, perfection does not just happen, it takes work. <laughs> that is it, Trevor Maya! You want to sleep? Now you sleep forever! We continue this tomorrow? Yeah. Good pizza. Nice one. I think I felt spatter. You guys are super gross. Hey, I'll get that for you. Eric! My turn! Oh, mystery of me takes forever to get out of my hair. Painful, but tasty. We have at least one lunch that doesn't end like this. Wait, I've seen that before. Hmm. Not that. Nice abs, though. It was in the sidekick video. But that means the janitor is the Golly G Kid! I knew it! You're the Golly G Kid! What was Maxim Man really like? Why is the greatest sidekick of all time a janitor? This isn't my locker. I'm just a janitor! I have never been, nor will I ever be, nor will I ever have been, will be the Golly G. Hello, Golly G Kid here. I'm not able to save you right now. <laughs> All right, I'm the Golly G Kid. Well, duh, even I got that. So I told Maxim Man I wanted to be a superhero. I bet you have some pretty cool stories about saving the world. Oh, you bet I do. One time, Maxim Man stumbled into the mansion covered in alien eyeballs. Well, he handed me his costume. 
and I washed it 17 times! And the alien came back to get his eyeballs? The suit was destroyed? No, no. It was pretty clean after that. <clears throat> wow! Good story, right, guys? <laughs> and he told stories all night. Then his car wouldn't start. He asked me to give it a push. All the way to school. Man, that dude has the worst luck ever. Hey, kind of like you. And you know what? Your stories are pretty bad too, just like the golly G kid. You're so alike. Nuh uh. Sure, you're cute just like him, and you're Maxim Men's sidekick like he was. Oh, and you both act, move, and think the same way? But that's it. Hey, I'm not a washed up sidekick who fights Mildew instead of supervillains. I'm not like him at all. I accidentally wore your shoes home. They fit perfectly. It's like they're mine, but yours. <sighs> Okay, maybe we are the same. The Golly G Kid was a sidekick just like me. But he had a dream. A dream to be something more, something better. The dream to be a superhero. And that's my dream too. Golly G Kid, wait for me. You and him are samesies. You and him are samesies. <laughs> so why are we at Super Zaros? Because you're tired of being a janitor and ready to be a hero. Sounds good, doesn't it? I guess. But a new costume? And these are pretty flashy. Look, step one to being a superhero is look like a superhero. Just think of this as a new beginning. On Maximan's account. Armand, ditch the cheap stuff. It's the perfect costume. Mine! It's been on back order for years. So what's next on the Super Old Man Super Makeover Super Show? Phase two should start about... Ah! Now. Help! I am a helpless person in need of help. This is awful. Did Eric write this? <clears throat> I too am in need of help! I yearn to be returned to my dearest Eric, so I may bestow upon him the biggest hug of all! I may have rewritten mine a little. Hey, that mother and daughter are in big trouble. I bet they sure could use a superhero to save them. They sure could. Wow, that is really high up. <laughs> Trevor, maybe you should head to the school and start working on phase three. You got it, bud. What's phase three? Oh, right. <laughs> huh? All right, golly gee. Be that hero! <laughs> or not. Move closer. What? Nothing. You're doing great. Lower. <sighs> Boy, I sure am in danger all the way up here, where it is dangerous. Lower. Lower. Thank you! Thank you, Golly G Kid, for saving me! I still got it! You're safe now! Hi, kids! Brush your teeth! Hey, stay inside kick school! Remember, teeth are for eating, not hitting with hammers! Look how happy he is. I know, but I don't want to see him hurt. Maybe he wasn't ever cut out to be a superhero. But he has to be. He was Maximan's sidekick. There's got to be more for him than being a janitor. I'll prove it. Trevor set up phase three. Golly gee, kid, where you be? That's Trevor now. He's pretending to be a villain so Golly G could get some confidence. Stand back! This villain is mine! I told you he'd make a great hero. You want fight? I like fight. Okay, Trevor's made some interesting supervillain choices. I respect that. Trick or treat! Uh, I mean, I'm gonna do something evil! What do you guys think? I got it on sale. 
Trevor, but if that giant really mean guy isn't you, then who is he? Golly gee, kid, you mine. Prepare to face the Golly Gee Kid! Don't look behind me. Okay. That's brute brutal. Master Zox's evil sidekick. My arch enemy from the old days. Uh, you sure you can handle this? I'm as sure as I've ever been. <laughs> That's sidekick stuff. Be the hero. Oh, right. I can't let it end like this. Brain, get me Master Zox on the phone. Zox? Why are you calling for another bad guy? Smashy, smashy time! Now feel fists of strongest super villain in world. Huh? Super villain? <laughs> I think you mean sidekick, don't you? M -m -m Master Zox, um, <laughs> this not how it looks. <laughs> it's a good thing I got an anonymous call telling me my sidekick overstepped his bounds. Brute, sorry. Brute just want to try make something himself. What's the sidekick's number one rule, hmm? Oh, sidekick is just sidekick. That's right, and never forget it. Now get back to the lab. <laughs> I'll destroy you all later. Bye now. Calling in Zox was a great idea, Eric. There's nothing meaner than a ticked-off super. <laughs> I love you. What? What? I think you have great things in store for you. Things that don't involve a mop and a bucket. You really think so? No, not really. What about you? You gonna stick with the superheroing? Absolutely! You've inspired me! Hmm, but maybe I should do a quick cleanup first. Guys? A little help? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs>